Yeah, I mean, uh, we can start the session. Okay, okay. So, thank you. Namaskaram, Masters. Welcome to day six of Atma Deepa Bhava. Be a light onto yourself. I hope you had a wonderful meditation session. I hope you get to experience the bliss and all the energies. As we gather here today, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our Grandmaster Prabodh, who has been instrumental in organizing this event. Without his guidance and support, this event would not have been possible. And thank you, admin team and all the leaders. I would also like to take a moment to thank each and every one of, a, one of you for joining us. Your presence here is a testament to your commitment to self-discovery and growth. And we are grateful to have you with us. And today, it is my great honor to introduce our next speaker, Master Tejal Solanki. Master Tejal has a very diverse set of skills and passions. She is a highly skilled surdo baker and a renowned past life regression therapist and a dedicated spiritual seeker and meditator. Her love for meditation is evident in her desire to share her wisdom with others. Today, she will be sharing her insights on the topic of Vak Shetram, a topic that is truly close to my heart and to her heart, I'm sure. In conclusion, I have no doubt that Master Tejal's unique perspective and experiences will make for a truly enlightening and engaging session. Her wisdom and teachings will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on all of us. Without a further ado, please join me in welcoming Master Tejal Solanki to the stage. To you, Master. Thank you so much for a beautiful introduction, uh, Master Mani. Uh, uh, I would like to thank to Ramarishi Patriji and yes, our own beloved, like, you know, Grandmaster Prabhupada Chuta. And uh, I was, I am fortunate, like, you know, I have met such enlightened master and I had attended his Gudakesha workshop in Lunavala few months ago. And it had given me a really uh, transformation. So, yes, uh, for today's session, I would like to share, like, you know, what uh, Patriji had said about uh, the Vakshetram. What is Vakshetram? Like, uh, uh, when and how we should so uh, speak about. So, when the topic was given to me uh, just a few days ago, and I was really happy. Like, you know, whatever I would love to, I can share about. So, yes, we can start the session now. And um, uh, am I audible? Yeah, okay, thank you. So, what is actually the Vakshetra? There are, like, you know, uh, you have the three parts of, when we say what Patriji has said in his book about, in general, that you know we have there are three territories or the, the, there are three fields like you know first when we say we we do think something first before we are speaking there is a thought it comes or a reaction comes or something a respond or we just like you know and any situation maybe suppose uh, someone is uh, abusing me and i will be angry and I will, I might be, you know, in my thoughts, I might be, you know, I want to kill him. I want to punch him. I want to punish him or many things I may. So the vichara kshetra, where you think about and there is, it is limitless. You can do anything in that. Okay. But actually when what happens, there is a, another kshetra. It comes as a chesta kshetra. It means the action where you may think over to implement that vichara, that thought as an action. Now, 
if you are doing certain things in action, you may have to be ready for the consequences also. Like whatever you are saying about, and if it is good, then definitely you are going to get a good fruit. But if it is not, then definitely you are going to get the punishment also. <laughs> so that is the chase action. Now, there is a Vakshitra. Vakshitra means a Vani, where you speak about. So that Kshetra actually needs, you know, uh, your thought and it is, it is in between. Thought and uh, uh, in between of your action, there is a Vakshetra. So when you start to something react, when you start to talk about, when you like, you know, according to the situations or you just want to, express or you just want to talk about and there actually we have to work on our ideas that is the most important thing where we have to uh, work about we have to work on and that is mostly what the patriji has said to us so what exactly when he says uh, he has said about like you know uh, in the thoughts, it's as I said, it is limitless. But when you are talking, you have to think twice. You have to be aware for your consequences, what you are talking about. Because as in, you can say like, you know, we all know about Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the There is a second chapter and where, you know, Arjuna had always he had said about the his sadness like you know this has happened i don't want to fight i don't want to go in a war and there are so many like you know uh, i don't want to kill anyone i don't want to hurt anyone and everything 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 and he was with a very sad a vishada mood so that time bhagwan krishna the lord krishna he actually made him you know educated and he told him you know, who is your brother? Who is your grandfather? Who is? We all are at a soul level. We all are at one. And there is nothing like, you know, okay, you are killing or you are hurting. But for what? Check your soul purpose. Uh, think about because I have seen my all. I know all my past lives and I know everything. But you you have also gone through all many past lives. But you don't know right now, you know, about your past lives. And because and whatever the life we are given, we do carry three gunas also. So as per the guna, we do talk about. So there, Lord Krishna had used he is a Vakshetra and he made Arjuna understood about the war and how he actually, you know, created the entire Bhagavad Gita. And that what we are listening and we are implementing even today's time. It is so practical. Each shloka of Bhagavad Gita. So that is the Vakshetra of a Krishna where Arjuna had his Vakshetra. He has used as in a crying and emotions and the sad emotions and, you know, all the sad thoughts and all the sad talks. But Krishna had used his Vakshetra so wisely that, you know, it has lived and it is living today also for all of us. Isn't it beautiful, my friends? Um, the same way, the here also, you know, more and more, like if, even in the world, when we see the there are so many examples, like, you know, when we had a Mahatma Gandhiji, when we had a, you know, a freedom we had to fight about. Today is the 26th Jan uh, January and happy Republic Day to all of you. And see how beautifully where we are in a democratic country and we have a freedom to express freedom, to speak, freedom of speech. And that is also our Vakshetra, my friends. 
it was you know constituted like you know the constitution was given uh by dr baba saheb ambedkar and because of him and our legend like you know all the great are freedom fighters and the country who were running that time and and because of that we are enjoying the fruits today so how they had given that and in today also we are free to speak but that freedom comes with a responsibility my friends and we have to enjoy both we have to enjoy the freedom with the responsibility if i take you like you know again in the ancient time like you know where the uh, uh, prahlada was there La like what he has happened even his father when he ran a kashyapa always he used to make him you know the damn like uh, you don't uh, well prahlada was taking the names of narayana 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 and hiranya kashyap was always like you know oh, oh you cannot take the name of narayana you have to and he made attempt you know to, to uh, kill prahlada so many times but prahlad did not why because he was speaking for his truth and from his intuition from his soul and he was knowing the truth and because he was fearless so that is again we have to be the same way we have to be fearless while we are speaking the truth we always have to keep you know when we are coming from the vichakshetra and when we are doing suppose any action then before that we have to like you know whatever we are speaking we have to be mindful about it we have to mindful about uh, truth what we are say, uh, saying about now what happens when we are talking in a vak kshetra there are both the things shubha vakya and ashubha vakya and in the ancient times it was like uh, told like you know okay a certain uh, rishi and he was with full of anger and he used to give a sharp or a curses or something but there were so many consequences and th that was actually having the value whatever the blessings or the curses so shubha vakya and ashubha vakya in nowadays we call it like you know somebody is like you know uh, the uh, nazar lag jana and the evil eye or something like that what is that that is again someone's jealousy or someone's ego or someone's so the words what which are not appropriate okay so that is is a ashubha vakya but at the same time if we offer the gratitude or we are appreciating someone and definitely it is like a it's a boost like you know for the other person also and it is for us also so it is a beautiful when we speak about we always to be in a shubha vakya and not the ashubha vakya then especially you know when we say about like the chakras also if we are in a tamasic bone we always you know be at the first to third chakra and we will be like uh, whatever we are saying about it will be a uh, you know a very thoughtless and every day when we say for some people that person is, oh, oh my god he's always talking and talking and talking he's like you know always i don't want to listen the person i don't want to what happens they are all almost they are in the materialistic life and they just live in that only and they are just most all the time you know they love themselves so much of course it is very important to have a self love but that does not mean that you be selfish and always you know irritating someone so then the people won't listen you so always be precise what you want to talk about again when you say like you know fourth and fifth chakra and that person will pray or talk about you know with the sense and you know uh, uh, with like you know confidence and uh, will try to get better and better and the logics and the talks we would love to listen them similar way what happens when you are but like you know and uh, that is like a, a guna we can say a rajasi guna also 
but towards uh, you know but when you go further and that time actually uh, right now when we say our enlightened master uh, prabodh master he is in the sahastra sthiti okay so we also have to be like that and that's always you know you are uh, talking from here whatever you are talking you are talking for the betterment of your own soul as well as for the mankind when you are talking and you are spreading the truth to the people and that is you are talking from your soul whatever you are talking you are talking very politely and mindful so what even i have learned in gudakesha when i had joined and i really love to encourage everyone you know if you can you do join the uh, offline workshops uh, of course you can do online as well but whoever can whenever they have the you know the batches of the offline workshops please master please do join that because you know uh, uh, we have seen our master prabodha is such a calm pose and polite and when he speaks about and uh, actually it likes you know you are listening such a some people that time also in the gudakesha some say that yeah, oh we are listening lord krishna and actually you can feel that we actually do learn it transforms the life and it makes you aware it teaches you to live in the awareness what he is in right now he is it at the sahastra sthiti and we all should aim for that and that's how you know thanks to brahmarishi patri ji he had given me such a he had given all of us uh, when we watch his video we feel like he is talking to me in general also we all are in the same you know on the same path we all need to think about we all need to talk the truth we all have to be courageous to speak truth and not to be goody goody like you know we cannot be all the time people's person be true what you are and firstly love yourself firstly you think about yourself firstly what action you are supposed to do and that action is not harming others it is not hurting others and for that and when you are speaking about when you are expressing be precise and do speak about so this is how do you know and we actually whoever are in uh, like as a pyramid master or the gudakesha masters definitely uh, you know we have got that path and we just need to work more and more and more so when you will speak truth and want be in a good or bad you just have to be in a samabhava be always in balance always be in the awareness and that awareness actually makes you to grow more and more do restrict yourself where we are not you know about when we are saying like you know uh, uh, i would love to give the example about like uh, uh, yes when we are watching the news and certain serials and like you know uh, especially ladies and start to think about you know uh, uh, comparing ourselves with this characters and uh, uh, you know from that person and we actually unknowingly we do absorb and we actually start to talk about certain things but instead of that, that do the swadhyay and sajjan sangatya and from actually you get a good thoughts and you can deliver the way today i am doing it because even i have learned from all these masters beautifully and uh, from there you are able to educate you whatever you will talk actually the words will come what you are learning and the soul what of yours has absorbed the truth and the correct talks 
and that actually you know what we all are doing right now also if you have joined for the good of Asia and from the meditation when our Prabhupada master when he's uh, you know always he's guiding us he's guiding us and he make us to be in city and with that beautiful moment and the bliss we actually have a beautiful day ahead also so this is how we have to implement day to day and every day the way lord buddha has said you know appo deepo bhava and nobody can you know the way if we are hungry if someone is eating we cannot fill our uh, you know our stomach and we cannot be satisfied oh i had the food but if we are hungry then we have to eat ourselves and definitely that is the Appo Deepo Bhava and uh, here you have to maintain with the correct words and how suppose you know uh, if you are giving the blessings also to someone the blessings should be of the truth and not just for the sake of it like like you know ha are beta aapka bahut acha ho jaye are you be happy nahi jo truth aap whatever the truth we are truth we are seeking or you are seeking you should you know uh, get the truth and always whatever you speak you should speak for the for the truth and this is the part of the enlightenment and we are on the path so always to adopt certain things okay these are very small small things but yes we need to implement in a daily practical life don't please the people be happy and spread that be blissful and spread the bliss to others so this is how you know and also when we are speaking truth and when we are speaking mindful we are empowering we are educating our children like you know some unknown people they will come and they will say oh that particular word of yours and it had reminded me so and so things and i felt okay yeah this is uh i was doing now onwards i should not do this then later on what happens the person actually gets inspired and the other person also starts to implement unknowingly we become sometimes we become the role model either for our kids or the people uh, they are getting influenced with our lifestyles and they actually take so always we have to maintain these things and always be with your words when you are saying about because she is ma saraswati when you are saying about a vak kshetra then definitely it is you know blessings of ma saraswati we have got and that actually she has chosen us to speak about so don't waste your time with the words which are not necessary or which are hurting others so please don't use such words so be always in that bliss and that like you know that ma saraswati is we are lords right as uh, Brahma Rishi uh, Patriji also have said to all of us that my dear uh, friends, my dear gurus, my like, you know, my masters. So definitely we are and we are one and we know that how Advait, like, you know, the God thing is in us. So that Daivatya is also in us. So Ma Saraswati is also in us. So always be in that awareness about it so what happens when like you know we should learn how to follow the silence also silence is again a unspoken language so always be you know wherever it is needed always in that mood that like you know before talking about, is it a proper word what I'm going to talk? Otherwise, be silent. Ramana Maharshi always said, like, you know, first you know yourself and later you come to me. Whoever supposed to, you know, whoever used, used to go to Ramana Maharshi and always he used to say this. Why? 
because you know we try to like you know whatever is we just do not think about and we just go to the like you know to other gurus and other masters and this and that because we just like to he uh, have the validation of ourselves from the other people or like you know whatever we do not have that confidence that whatever i am doing or i am saying is not correct or not true so we do seek that of course we should select a very good master in our life and we are you know thankful that we have the master prabodh with us and brahmarishi patriji is all the wisdom with us so what happens but who are not and they go to them so always we have to think ourselves and firstly you need to know yourself and later you to think about the other things and you do speak about when you are confident about and you can go ahead now when we say like lord lord mahavira or the buddha or the jesus or the shri krishna always they being in the sahasra sthiti and spreading dhyan to mankind so where they needed they were always in the silence and when they got that atma gyan they started to spread about so even when we are talking our vakshetra should come from our dhyan our sajjan sangatya and we always use this vaani or blessings of ma saraswati always for the mankind and doing the dhyana prachara so this is where you know we all have to learn from our master prabod also i'm sure you all are doing that daily also i would like to quote richard bach where he has said like you know if you think there is injustice and tragedy in this world then you are an ignorant why i am saying so this because you know many a times we always feel like you know mere se dukhi koi hai hi nahi i am a person like you know always i have, well, i am a victim uh, uh, why the god had given all the things all the disturbances all the tragedy in my life only uh, either with the money or either with the relationships either with the family either with the boss either with the blah 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 so we always in we are always in that complain mode complain mode complain complain mode. so when someone you know uh, uh, nicely someone has come to you uh, you know talking and something to discuss and and that time also we start uh, you know to vent our stories and always been ah mere sath ye ho gaya mere sath ye ho gaya this is happened with me and blah 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 and the other person actually is uh, you know trying to talk something nice to you something you know making you uh, understanding about and uh, giving something uh, you know a knowledge of wisdom but what happens you make that person as in your um, like you know uh, a garbage thing and you went out all the problems problems and problems why because you are in a complaint you love to be in the complaint you love to be in the victim and that's how what happens you we actually break the bridge actually we should see that you know there is no tragedy in this world there is nothing like an injustice because we all uh, have certain our karma theory we all have the free will to choose about what the action we are going to do or what we have done in the past and because from there when we say like you know from a chitta chitta then we there is the buddhi is on a higher level then there is a smruti smruti means from the pattern from the beliefs of the past so the, the the thought comes from from the man then it goes to the buddhi that shall i 
do or not shall i speak or not then we have certain patterns from the belief uh, you know from the past and according to the ha ha that person is that only uh, that like we just judge people and then what happens we should actually use our viveka okay the conscious thing we should always be aware towards our chaitanya and we, when we are talking about we should talk from there but we do not use that we all are empowered at the same level of the soul and we all are my friends we are not the body we are the souls and we have came on the earth to experience the human body to experience the human things and the emotions and earth is the beautiful school there is no injustice there is no tragedy it has we had chosen certain souls in our family certain uh, as in friends or you know so what but what we do create we do not like you know we do not live in the harmony we ourselves we do create the imbalance and that actually you know creates the feel of the injustice and the tragedy in our mind and that's how we have the perception for the world which is not true so this is how again we have to have the thought again the action and accordingly that we the from the pattern we should talk about wherever it is needed to talk if not needed be in a silent mood do not waste your bliss and your bliss so this is how again you know when you uh, even like you know uh, jesus has said it was uh, i won't use the exact sentence but the gist of it that what you put inside your mouth it does not affect you much like you know you, of course you have to be vigilant what you are putting of course you have to have a healthy food like you know plant based and the nature what has the nature has given and you should not have any non veg food because it is tamasic and it won't uh, it will be like a hindrance in your spiritual journey and it does not give a, give you a vital energy too so we should not have non veg okay uh, be a vegetarian but try to have the plant based diet in a raw form or a natural diet okay so what happens ki whatever you put in your uh, body it gives you a sattvic feel and you be in a sattvic guna and you love to meditate you you love certain activities you love the spiritual activities and you love to spread also and you get a good thoughts okay the food plays a very important role but at the same time you know those are the efforts for you and your body so whatever you eat it does not affect much you know to you or the others but what you put out from your bo like body from your mouth that actually affects you and the others so always remember the words of the jesus as well okay the lord is in you and it is reminding you be aware and whatever you are uh, bringing out of your mouth be mindful even the patri ji has say like you know no junk food no junk words no junk thoughts similarly the gandhi gandhi ji had you know he had said about you know satya he has a beautiful book you know ex uh, like experiments of the truth and how he was you know firstly he was a like you know like a child or something we we all had gone through and we are doing right now also small small things we are like uh, you know are bolne mein kya jata hai ha somebody calls you okay and that time what you say Uh, somebody invites you for some functions and you don't want to go but in a thought you are saying oh where he has called yeah i don't want to go and this and that but while uh, you know you are talking in the phone oh sure 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 i will be there i will be there i am coming i am coming but you are not aligned with your thought 
be truthful. If you cannot, be polite and say, sorry. Uh, uh, you don't need to be sorry also. Be polite and say, I cannot attend. And, you know, the person will, yeah, he that is his duty. He may, you know, uh, insist like, you know, you should be there. You should be there. You talk to yourself. Is my presence needed? And if needed, and then why? And if it is needed, then definitely I should go. I should not avoid the person also. But if you are not for so, you know, so any of the reason you are not able to, then definitely be truthful and say firmly with a polite thing and say that, uh, you know, uh, I cannot be there, but definitely my wish is for you. And be, you know, be cordial always. So there are so many things that we have to and actually implement in the practical life. Always we think, oh, we are perfect and other person is not. And that's the reason, you know, we always have that uh, a balloon of ego always in our mind. Actually understand the Sahasra city also opens from here only. But we have so many blockages here only that it does not, we do not allow the cosmic energy to be in our body. Why? Because all the time we have that tox in our mind. All, you know, uh, the chattering and chattering and chattering. It's a chatterbox. And what happens? There, we actually have, we have to limit the talking to our mind as well. Not only to others, but talking to ourselves also. What is the ultimate goal of a meditation? That you have to be vichar shunya. And if you be vichar shunya, as Prabhupada Master has also, uh, you know, he had uh, said to us in a Gudakesha workshop, where he said, like, you be thoughtless for 48 minutes in the daytime and for a month, then definitely it actually, uh, you know, uh, your process, your journey has been upli uplifted and you have started to a real enlightenment. He himself, Master Prabhuda, he himself had like, you know, when he had a job in US, but he wanted to have the meditation. So every weekend, what he had told to us, like every weekend, he used to be in the room and he always, you know, he wanted to be like, you know, I wanted to be Vichar Shunya. I wanted to be Vichar Shunya. But that way he did not. But he walked on himself. He worked on his meditations. He worked on his thought. And what happened? Even at the day, daytime, also in the nighttime, being a yogi and not as a bogi or not as a rogi, he actually, he has used his quality time. And he started to, you know, following the silence, following the meditation, the anapanasati dhyan, and actually he has reached his sahastra sthiti. So we all also can do by this way, stopping unnecessary thoughts, unnecessary actions, unnecessary chattering in our mind. And definitely we all can reach that enlightenment state. So, when even the, you know, Shakespeare, what he has told, that all the world is stage and we are merely the actors, we will play our roles and go. Nobody is permanent over you. Even you are going as a body, you are going to leave the body, even I am going to leave the body. But yes, we are permanent as a soul. And we will come again and again to play our roles, to learn from those roles. So always be that. If we are playing a role, then the way the you know uh, we are given with our dialogues as well. But it's the actor. Why is one actor that actor we get we feel connected 
like Amitabh Bachchan, if we say about, and like, you know, why? Because there is a part, you know, particular way of dialogue, particular way of acting, and that is how we felt always connected with his voice, with his dialogues, with his actions. But there is the same way, even at the age of 80, like, you know, he's such a senior, but still we all, we all love him. Like, you know, seeing him as in, though Amitabh Bachchan had played, played so many roles, but at the same time, we love his roles as well as him as the human being. Because there are certain things what actually he do for he does follow in his life as well. And there are the things what we also feel like, you know, certain people as a role model or we do inspire by them. Why? Because their Kathani and the Karan, what they speak about and what they do about. So this is also we also have to learn and we have to implement about it. So we are also same way as the actors we have came on the earth, the way the Rajesh Khanna has said in the Anand, Babu Moshai, Ye Jeevan, what he has said, like, you know, this is the Rangamanj. So uh, the same way we are here, we are playing our roles, we are as the actors. So be happy, play that role with the mindfulness. Be always in that awareness. And when we, like, you know, uh, if you have heard about uh, the, uh, like, we all know Sant Kabir. And what the Kabir also had said to all of us, speak such word, like, you know, that's an ego's ploy. Like, you know, the words once are spoken cannot be retrieved. So always Make your, whatever you are uh, talking about, make your body remains you. Your body remains composed, but also the joy to the listener as well. So, aisi baani boliye, man ka aapa khoi, apna tanshi tal kare, auran ko sukh hoi. So, have those, you know, when you are speaking, when we say like, you know, some people when they talk about and we give that adjectives like, you know, the person is talking like, you know, the flowers, they are coming out of the mouth of that person. So why can't we be, uh, you know, we like that only. We should have that tone when we are talking and there is a difference between reaction and responding. So always, if someone in that anger mood, fine. That is their, his choice. Or maybe he had gone through certain situations that made him angry and, and he's just expressing his anger. It is just an emotion. Why we have to react that? If we go to Mahabharata, where we have seen, like, you know, how the Mahabharata actually, the seed was sown when the Draupadi laughed on Duryodhana, when the Duryodhana, you know, there was the, it was a Maya that when that palace, it was created with so many illusions and where he felt like, you know, oh, there is a water, uh, like, you know, uh, oh, uh, he saw that there is a water. But it was not a water. And there he felt ahead that there is, oh, it is illusion. And it is not a water, but there was a water. in, And he fell and Draupadi laughed. That was again a wrong thing. Because we don't know what the person is in, you know, some situation. And we just laugh on them. It might be, you know, it. we also, we might be, you know, facing that. So what happened that time when the Draupadi taunted Duryodhana with the uh, word, like uh, the phrase, like, you know, uh, the son of blind is also a blind. So, and from the that, the Duryodhana had the anger more for the Draupadi and the Pandava. And it actually started the story from there. 
So always we have to be mindful. There is like a Japanese proverb, like, you know, it has been said, like, you know, actually we do not have two faces. We have three faces. One is for entire world. You know, they do, they know our projection. Oh, that person is too good. So this and that and that. Another, or maybe that person is very rude and very this and that. Another face is our, actually our family and our loved ones or our close friends. They know us, you know, what we are and how we do behave and how do we reciprocate and how do we react and how do we respond, etc. But the third phase is just we know ourselves. So be genuine. Be aligned. What is your thought? What you are about to talk? And based on that, it will be your action. So Always this Vakshetra, when we say about, you know, it should be as in Bhagavad Gita, it has been told about like, you know, Sarva Bhute Hita Harataha. So whatever we are, actually our action, what we are doing, what we are talking, why I'm repeating again and again. I'm, I, I'm sure that you, you, you all know this. Always you have, uh, you know, what I'm talking or I'm saying, it is not new but at the same time yes we need the reminder at each and every space at each and every place and that's what Gudakesha is doing right now also it's a Atma Deepo Bhava it's a Appo Deepo Bhava it's a beautiful platform my dear friends and every morning we observe we follow Master Prabodha. And what happens from there? We have to carry our individual journey of our soul. Appo Dipo Bhava. And this is how, you know, where of course we have to work and we have to empower our soul. We have to go towards the enlightened, we have to walk more and more towards the enlightenment. Maybe not in this life. We had worked hard in the past lives. So we are in this right now. We have chosen such beautiful masters and we are learning from them. And with that, we also have to, we have to remember that Sarva Bhutasta Atmanam Always be in the oneness. Always be as a watcher and not a doer. Always be in a sakshi bhav. Always think before speaking something. Do not react. What happens? Actually, I would like to say what I have understood like, you know, when someone is talking, someone is giving that aggressive words, we actually, it is, we are giving our control to someone. Like, if someone is gifting to you someone, if you are accepting it, it is yours. But if you are not accepting, is it yours? No, right? So, similar way, here also, if someone is talking, that is their word. That is their situation. That is their aggression. Let them have their own time to think about why we should unnecessarily react on that and create a havoc. Why? It is not needed. And whatever the person has said about, actually what happened, here we have that ego, the Ego has been hurt, not you at a soul level, my friend. 
But here what happens, the ego, actually it has expectation. Uh, it has that expectation of the pampering the ego or uh, always listening the goody goody thing about that ego. And that's where ego start to create the sadness or the, you know, uh, throwing the emotions out of that. And when you are not in a samasthiti, you are not in a samabhava, you are not in a sastra stiti, you actually start to react. And you that is not your respond because always the respond comes after thinking something. And if you want to say, of course, you have to be firm. When you are using your words and the quality of your words matters. So if you want to speak about the truth, be firm. You have to speak that time. And that is not your reaction. That is your response. But if you are talking in the anger and anything, you know, without any awareness that that is your foolishness. And that is a reaction. So always, again, I'm repeating, always be responding and not being reactive. These are the small, small tips. We always have to. For that, you can have, you know, have the walk in the nature, the way, you know, Master Prabodha. Or I remember in Gudakesha at 12 and at 1 uh, a.m., we used to walk in the nature and we used to feel the silence. And we had to be silent. And in that, we actually were communicating with the cosmic energy. We used to feel the vibrations. We used to feel the cosmetic, cosmic energy in our uh, body and not the cosmetic energy. It was a cosmic energy. So even in the daytime, have that mourn, have that silence. Deep breathing between, you know, the sentences. It will give you the time to think about, be in your vicharakshetra, then talk, be in your vakshetra, and then it will give you the you know prompt result, the action. So friends, thank you so much for listening me, and uh, if any questions, I would like to have the questions. And uh, thank you to, uh, like, you know, uh, GMP Wisdom, entire team, uh, who have uh, nicely coordinated with me. And, of course, the platform given to us by Grandmaster Prabod Achyuta. Thank you to Pradeep Sir and all of you. A divine gratitude to all of you. Wish you a happy Republic Day and have a, have a beautiful, mindful and, uh, you know, uh, always be in the bliss. Uh, have a mindful day. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to uh, play a music and do listen. You will enjoy if you understand Hindi. Uh, it's a beautiful music uh, and just it's a small uh, this thing, but uh, how beautifully Kabir had said on the Vani and uh, just a moment, I'm sharing the sound. Yeah, just a moment, huh? Okay. 
uh, I think so. I'm uh, uh, unable to share the screen, maybe. But, uh, you know, do listen the Bani Asi Bolye by Kabira, and uh, you will find on YouTube also. And uh, amazing song. So, definitely. And uh, thank you, Suman, sir. Thank you, all of you, to be in this ses session. Uh, can we wind up?